My name is Bob. Uh, I live in Delaware and I've been a registered Republican since I got out of college. I couldn't bring myself to vote for Hillary Clinton. Uh, and at the same time, I couldn't bring myself to vote for Donald Trump. I'm in the technology business and have business dealings or have had business dealings with Trump properties in Atlantic City. The general sense of people who are vendors uh, of Donald Trump when he owned those properties was they didn't want anything to do with it because they would be taken advantage of, their invoices wouldn't be paid. Uh, and it was um, kind of a, a known thing, a known issue amongst the technology community that did business with them that you did at your own risk. Donald Trump is a fraud when it comes to looking at his business acumen. His father figured out a way to channel a half a billion dollars to this guy. I could have taken that money and put it into U.S. government bonds and been more successful than Donald, Donald Trump was in all his business enterprises. Donald Trump is a morally corrupt, unethical, horrible human being. Even if you take that away from the argument, it's unfathomable that someone can make the very wrong decision on important issues over and over and over again. So I think Joe Biden understands that he has a huge opportunity. He's a, a local guy that there's a, a tremendous amount of respect for him as a person. This was before he was vice president, but you'd see him in his SUV at Home Depot in the parking lot. Very much a normal, you know, a normal guy. I also think he has the potential to... Uh, to bring some compromise back into the Congress and work both sides. The alt-right movement and the tacit approval by Donald Trump of white supremacy, fascism, and autocracy, it's putting our, our country at risk. And I can just hope that there's some sense of the right thing happening in November and this nightmare will go away.